Welcome back to Suvina Everything, guys. Today I am doing the French dip sandwich. I must say, this is not the traditional version. I mean, you wanna see something different. This is my version and I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. This is a tri-tip. Please do not get confused with the queen of all meats, picanha. There's nothing better than a grilled picanha or a sous vide picanha. If you have never tried it, I suggest you do. But for today's experiment, I am using a tri-tip. As you can see, this one came without the fat cap. However, I can tell from the outside that there is a good amount of intramuscular fat. And that's what you're looking for when you're choosing the meat. Since it's a thick cut of meat, I season it well with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. To ensure every bite will be flavorful, make sure you season it well. Once it's seasoned, all there's left to do is to bag it up and get ready to cook. Since this dry tip came without a fat cap, I am making a baste in butter. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below. I started with a stick of salted butter melted down, then I added an entire tablespoon of garlic paste. It consists of minced garlic, sugar, and a little bit of vinegar. Mix it well and your baste in butter is done. Our dipping sauce is extremely easy to make. On a cast iron skillet, throw in a little bit of olive oil followed by some white onions. Once it's caramelized, go ahead and throw a little bit of garlic followed by some beef broth and bone broth. Right before simmering, add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, your favorite hot sauce, dry thyme and mix it well and bring it to a simmer. As soon as it starts boiling, turn the stove off. Then with a strainer, make sure you strain everything and your dipping sauce is done. Now all there's left to do is bag it up and warm it with sous vide whenever you're ready to eat. I'm also making some very simple pickled onions. And it's pretty straightforward. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. I started off by chopping some red onions. I recommended not going too thin. And these are all the ingredients. We got black peppercorns, fine table salt, coriander seeds, granulated sugar, red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and regular fresh water. Now we gotta combine all these ingredients in the right sequence to make this wonderful pickled onions. We start off by toasting the peppercorns and coriander. When I say toast, I don't mean burn. Just lightly toast them in medium-high heat and they're ready. If they start smoking, you went too far. Usually it takes no more than 30 to 45 seconds. On the same pot, throw in your red wine vinegar, followed by the apple cider, the fresh water, and the granulated sugar. Bring everything to a light boil. As soon as you see bubbles on the edges, it's ready. Using a mason jar, make sure you packed up as much as you can of that beautiful red onions. Keep in mind that you can pack it tightly, because when you add the hot mix, it will automatically make more space. So pack as much as you can. Then you want to add the liquid while it's still hot. Bring it all the way to the top. And to finish it off, throw in the toasted spice mix. Shake it well and your pickle onions are done. Now you want to let it cool down before you put it in the refrigerator. Before eating it, give it at least 24 hours. And they will last quite some time on your refrigerator. But good luck with that. They are so delicious that you're just gonna chop it up. I'm cooking the tri-tip and reheating the sauce at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for 2 hours. I have my beautiful tri-tip ready. My sauce is ready. I don't know if you should call it a sauce or if it's a dip. I'm not sure what to call it, but it is ready and it is time to take it out. Let's do it. It smells incredible, everybody. And we have our pickled onions, which I'll be using it for my sandwich. And I also love this, this is one of my new obsession, everybody, which is the goat cheese. I'm gonna put it on my sandwich. Mau Mau said, no way, all right, Mau Mau? No, 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 no. Mau Mau cannot, Mau Mau is lactose intolerant, everybody. He can't have it. But anyway, I know what you guys are thinking. Guga, why don't you use the liquid from the bag to make your dipping sauce or whatever it's called? Look, guys, there's almost nothing. There's like, Nothing in there. That's the reason you have to use the beef stock and all the other good stuff. But now, like always, I say it is enough talking and we gotta go outside and sear them. I have to pet it dry so that I can get a nice, beautiful sear on it. At the same time, we will be basting it with this beautiful garlic butter. But I know it doesn't look that good right now, right, Mama? Could look better. Watch this.
All right, everybody, we have our beautiful sandwiches over here. Are you ready, Mama? I'm excited to go. I got my wonderful cousin here. We got Angel behind the camera. Are you hungry, Angel? Oh, I'm hungry. That boy is always hungry, everybody, all the time. All right, Mama, so today we have French dip sandwich. You ever had that before? Never had that. Angel, you? Mm -mm. Never had it, everybody. I saw it on Instagram. I thought it was kind of cool. It was got to give it a try. All right, Mama, so let's dig in. We have one right here. This one has goat cheese, which is from no goat cheese for you, right, Mama? No goat cheese for me. No goat cheese for you. And Angel only wants steak. Huh, Angel? I'm hungry for steak. <laughs> no goat cheese, bro. Come on, bro. No. <laughs> All right, Mama Zin. So the way it's supposed to work is you get that. I got this one here. And we're supposed to do a dip. So we dip and chop it up. Mmm. That's a good dip. Is it like uh, Oreo cookie when you dip it in a, no, in a no, milk? No, 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 no. Because <laughs> you guys know, every time you're eating an Oreo cookie, if you dip, it's better. You agree? Yeah, it used to be better. <laughs> now it's not better anymore for me. Really? Why? Because no, lactose intolerant. Because I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, yeah. that's right. Okay. <laughs> How's the dip, Mama? This dip is incredible. Is it better with the dip or without the dip? Try yeah. without the dip. Let's try without I the want dip. it in. Let us know if you recommend the dip, Mama. You recommend the dip. <laughs> I love it, Mama. <laughs> okay, my turn. Do you recommend a dip, big dip or little dip? Try a little first to make sure you get the bread the way you like it. Okay, you ready for it, Angel? All right. Let's give this a try. Isn't it good? That is nice. Oh man. Mm. It adds another layer of flavor to the bread and the steak. I'm using this uh, baguette. So the bread is kind of hard, mm -hmm. right? It has a nice crust. And when you dip it, everybody, it is amazing. Wow. All right, my nephew, there is no onion for you, brother. No onion for you? It sounds a little bit suspicious, you just saying that over <laughs> and over. There's a little bit of green stuff. Yeah, but it's very little. You won't even taste it. No All onion. Right. You got to do the dip. You ready for the dip? I'm ready. All right, let's get a nice close up of the dip. Go for it, Angel. Go like you mean it, bro. Come on. Dude, I went like I meant it. Like, yeah. Like That's how you dip an Oreo. <laughs> right, my mom? No, the Oreo, <laughs> you leave it soaking for a little bit. Mmm. Aha. 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 Talk about the flavor, Angel. Angel, talk about the flavor, Angel. Mama, you just turned that ninja. What, ha what happened well, to Ninja, Mama? He left us alone today. He left us alone. Left us alone. He's on he vacation. Us. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mama, something's a little bit different right there. <laughs> Try without the dip, Angel. It's kind of like, kind of like a soupy. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. it gives you like a little flavor. soup kind of taste to it. Yeah. yeah. I like it though. Try mm. without the dip. You recommend dip or no dip? Yeah, dip. Dip mm -hmm. for sure, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, you know when you're sick and, and your grandma makes you some soup? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the best soup you've ever had in your life? Kind of like that. This is when you're healthy and you want some soup. <laughs> this is what you gotta do. <laughs> That's a good it's a really good soup for your life. <laughs> and it's a really good soup. <laughs> That sounds good. Oh, you like that dip, I can tell. Uh -huh. I can tell. Mm. Here's the deal with the sandwich, everybody. It is absolutely incredible because the meat is so tender, right? Super tender, super juicy. This dip, to my surprise, I never had it, everybody. It is incredible, and you definitely want a dip. I recommend getting a bread that has a nice crust mm -hmm. because then it's a good combination. It's You don't want to get like a hamburger bun. No, you know, no, 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 no. Then it's going to be too soggy. You know what I mean? So this bread here, with the, like you like, said, Angel, it's like a soup. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Mama? A bread with good crust will add more texture to it, so you're not just eating a wet, soggy bread with a soft meat. <laughs> Good point, Mama. Okay. That's right. And I definitely recommend the goat cheese and the pickled onion. You? No goat cheese no for you. No goat cheese. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you mentioned it. You did add mayo to the to the. Yeah, uh, to we the, got a little bit of mayo from me and my mom. And that also adds a little bit more of creaminess to it. In case yeah. you cannot have the milk, the the cheese. 
No cheese for you, mama. No cheese for me, mama. mama. I feel bad for you, mama. No, don't feel bad for me. I'm happy not to have it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys give this a try. It is incredible. I understand why it's so popular. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. Do the dip. Dip. <laughs> dip, 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 definitely do the dip. The dip. I, I didn't think we were gonna be able to like like the dip like so the much, dip you know. Much. But it is good, man. It's really good. No.